Grits are not very popular these days, but have you ever tried grits with chocolate in it? Put a little cocoa in there and it's amazing how it'll transform. We're using a instant mocha mix, but you could, I have used a hot chocolate mix before or simply cocoa with a little sugar. And this is going to transform our, our grits into something like cocoa wheats and if you mix it up with the grits first, it uh, doesn't clump. And of course we want to add a little salt too because salt makes everything better and brings out the flavor. And so when we add these in, you want to keep them stirring and actually turn off the heat immediately. In fact, I'm going to lift it off just a little because if you don't, you may have a mess that might boil over. So calm down on the heat once you add the grits. All right, if you can see this line right here, I've got the pot halfway on the burner and this side is boiling and simmering, this side isn't. But if you had it on the whole way, even if you turn off that burner, if it's unless it's a gas burner, you're gonna overflow the pot. So make sure and back off, but keep stirring and eventually you'll be able to put it back on. It's gonna take about, oh, maybe two minutes. Let it simmer, maybe five, depending on what heat level you have. Uh, the um, grits will absorb all of this good chocolatey um, liquid now, and wait till you see what we do with it at the end. Okay, one second now here. I'm getting over overwhelmed here with all the heat, so we gotta back off so we don't overflow. May have to go back and forth a couple times. While that's settling down, look at your grits. It only takes a quarter cup of grits to a cup of water. Okay, a quarter cup of grits is gonna give you a whole cup serving yield. So um, this is even um, uh, better than oatmeal. I think oatmeal is about half and half, um, or one to two, I guess, but this is one to four ratio. So one container, one box of grits can really stretch a long way. And actually we've found that you can put any kind of flavor in grits, almost like with rice, and make it a side dish as well. If you put cheese in there, you can put um, cumin or you know something spicy if you want, and it's actually really good. But we're going with the chocolate this morning. Here you can see we're bubbling on the side. We're gonna bring this back on. starting to get thicker. Keep stirring so it doesn't stick on the bottom. And now you can really see it's getting thick. Every time the bubbles pop, um, they stay open just a little bit, just like pancakes. Um, we're starting to see that thicken. Now this is good and thick. And what's better on chocolate grits than a little peanut butter? Stir a little peanut butter in there. That's gonna melt. And it's gonna be the best breakfast with grits you can probably make. Now this is gooey peanut butter. It's gonna stir so easily into there. We use chunky because we like those nuts. And this makes a very filling, hearty breakfast. So good, almost tastes like a Reese's cup for breakfast.